Roy, in focusing on free will as a window on the human mind, there are a number of components that can lead into it, uh, one of which is the concept of agency, that agents who do things, that have intentions. Um, how do we begin to understand that concept uh, by itself? What is agency? Sure. In order to understand broader aspects of, of human mentality. So I think by agency, we just mean the organism's ability to control its behavior and act as a unit. Mm -hmm. uh, that starts long before humans, long before free will, uh, probably in the shift from plants to animals. A plant is already a unity, but it doesn't do much. It doesn't move around, it doesn't make decisions. But an animal can go this way or that, uh, so it needs central control. Uh, the central nervous system, my understanding, begins with eating and moving. Uh, moving around to get food. Mm -hmm. uh, so it needs central control to kind of sniff out where the food is and then to make all the, the paws <laughs> go in the same direction. Human agency then takes that several steps uh, beyond it. it. We inherited that capacity to control our behavior. Uh, I should say animals also have the beginnings of intentionality and that there's goal-directed behavior. It will run this way to get away from the animal chasing it. It will climb a tree to sleep. It will, uh, you know, how much it thinks and understands that goal is, is hard to say, but you know, I think we should give it credit. It, it knows what it's doing. It's goal-directed. It is goal-directed, and so there's an intention. Now, for humans, we built on those, uh, and uh, evolution uh, took that agency and made it into something more elaborate. I think of free will as the animal agent 2.0. It's, it's mm -hmm. the next higher building that adds in uh, conscious ability to simulate different possible outcomes. Uh, I can think this can lead, if I do this, this will lead to that, mm -hmm. and, and, and so on, and, and, and simulate several different options, and what would my life be like if I take this job? What would my life be like if I take that job? Um, so that basic animal ability to run left or run right uh, we can use in a much more elaborate uh, uh, manner. Now, for culture, which is our biological strategy, is how we live, we need to have, be a moral agent, an economic agent, an information agent. These are all things pretty much unknown in the animal world, but uh, uh, we, our, our children are taught to uh, acquire this kind of free will. So when you're using the term in, in this broader sense, economic agent, political agent, uh, you're saying that we are then goal-directed, we have an intention in those kinds of categories. Yes, well, to send, in the sense we're in animals, we're just programmed to survive and reproduce. And we'd like things that have helped our ancestors survive and reproduce in the past. But we can go about it in much more fancy and elaborate ways. About, we go about it by participating in the system, but the system requires us to be a moral agent, to be responsible for our actions. Mm -hmm. uh, to uh, you, know, you can be prosecuted for something you did years ago. Uh, the, the laws and the morals essentially do the same kinds of things. Uh, it's just the laws are a little firmer and work with strangers. Morals, it kind of depends on the, the pressure of relationships. Uh, but it's the same idea, obey the rules, be a good person. So economic agent, you've got to participate in society, contribute something, you've got to pay for the food you're going to eat and, and, and things like that. Uh, so be part of the system, that has to be acquired. I think free will in the, in, is something that the baby is not born with, but acquires by becoming socialized to become a member of, of a culture so you understand how to be an economic agent and how to be a moral agent and how to be a, a information agent. So I want to get from the concept of agency, which you said, uh, very rudimentary animals have because they're goal directed, so that's a, they're an agent, mm -hmm. a unified body, uh, to the concept of free will. So, what do I have to add very specifically to agency to get to free will? I have to have some sort of a of a sense of of uh, future consequences of, mm -hmm. of, of present activities. So mm -hmm. there has to be some planning element yeah. or some sense of, of, of yeah. future future futurality. Well, Robert, you put that question very nicely. What do I have to add uh, to? Uh, to make it free will, uh, but that can be talked about in two ways. What does the individual have to acquire in terms of traits, but also collectively? We wouldn't have much without the culture, even if you were a fully sure. formed human so being. If you never learn to talk, yeah. if you, we learn how to think about the future, we learn how to understand society. Most of the choices we make, like what job to take, or what to marry, or what show to watch on television, most of those are embedded in the culture. You have to know how the mm -hmm. culture works. If you came from uh, you know, living in the in the woods by yourself and were plumped in the middle of this culture, you couldn't you couldn't make these choices. So, the capacity for free will and this advanced form of agency 
is acquired by learning how to be part uh, of this group, to participate in its systems of doing things, to share its information uh, and work with that and use all that, uh, to think about the future, uh, to make a decision. Obviously, we have to have the ability to represent the future, so we need a, a more powerful mental capacity than most animals have. We maybe need a space where you can string together ideas mm -hmm. better than they can. Mm -hmm. I think that's what consciousness, uh, to a great extent, is. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have to be able to represent the future. But remember, the future is constructed by our society. If you were living by yourself, what would the future, you know, there wouldn't be, you wouldn't have a plane reservation uh, tomorrow, you wouldn't have plans for who you're going to have dinner with next week, you wouldn't have ambitions for what you want to achieve in your career in the next six months. All those things only exist in part of the culture. Uh, so we need the mental capacity to think these things, To which starts with we need, when communication starts, we need self-control uh, to make our agency more culpable, so we've got to restrain our actions. So. Without self-control, whatever impulse arises, you just do that. Uh, we're able to over, overcome one impulse and do something else, which is the beginnings of, I think, free will. Um, so those basic mental capacities are needed for agency. Uh, but again, those, are, those evolved by selection to become part of a cultural system uh, uh, with other people who have the, the same mentality and the same understandings. Uh, and within them, then the capacity takes off. So we have agency, we're going to free will, and there are these other modules that we have to add. It's a cultural one, there's a, there's an in, there's a capacity for f uh, understanding the future, capacity for self-control, so I adapt myself mm -hmm. to that mental model that I have of the mm -hmm. future that will enable me to exist in culture. And, and this has to be done in the individual and, and collectively as the individual, then it, it, it enables mm -hmm. the whole society. Yes. Quite a system. It is, <laughs> uh, yes. It's uh, amazing that... Uh, Nature and culture together, we're able to produce it for it, but really, really do live very well uh, and have much nicer lives than uh, most of the animals do. <laughs>